Okay, welcome everybody to the Call of Cthulhu. We are going to be joining in on this quest for madness and see where we go.
what a putrid offering. since I jotted down something other. story of blackmail in a speakies. Married woman runs off with her girlfriend. The husband couldn't understand it. The Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch kick. I used to be an avid reader. I used to be an avid reader. Been too long since I've slept in a bed. I wonder why I still take these things. Natural sciences, linguistics, archaeology. I have business here. Holding your position and obeying orders, that isn't courage. The Lost Battalion. Holding your position and obeying orders, that isn't courage.
Oh, Hands. God, I'm gonna make One him a little crazy. Meta. May I raise a sensitive question? What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still... I'm coming. I ain't about that bullshit. This is old guy. Alfred Pennyworth. Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl. She is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these... elements? Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. We like to call them happy accidents. Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. 
Find Warehouse 36. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. I think I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. Dark... Looks like Sarah was her son, possibly running from her husband. Husband's probably still alive. Water. I think I've got a book on the North Atlantic. I'll no doubt find some information on this island in there. I used to be an avid reader. Wentworth Agency doesn't attract top-notch cases. Dark water is off the coast of Boston. But I've never heard of it. According to this book, it was often mentioned during whale hunting times at the end of the 19th century. But it seems to have been shunned since then. All I have to do is go to the port. I just hope that I can find a boat able to take me to dark water. Spooky, scary skeletons. I'm not sure if they still did whaling around then. But I see a lot of whale bones in this picture. Some crazy shit gonna be happening. Listen, the whole point of this game is we find the dot, the great dreamer, the great Cthulhu. Unleash him, awake him, and make him cause massive destruction. Cause you know that's the whole point of the game. We answer his call, right? Anyway, so from what I read about this game, what I saw is the more you play, uh, the more choices you make affect you as a person. 
uh, as the investigator, your mental state, how you see things, how you react to reality. So I want to try to keep his mental state right in the middle. Um, maybe upgrade some of his other skills to help with his investigation along the way. But definitely want to delve into going into madness and also staying sane at the same time. Uh, I want to see how that really reacts with the game and resonates with the player itself. So, let's see what happens. Pierce took the Hawkins case. The cursed artist is accused of having caused the fire that killed her and her family. As the only clue, she left her father a disturbing painting on the shipping label and an address. A warehouse set on the docks of the island of Darkwater. The place seems to be starting point for Pierce's investigation. Enter the madness. So I know a bit about the lore of Cthulhu, Cthulhuism, stuff like that. Uh, I hope that the main bad guys in the games have something to do with the Elder Ones and the Great Cities. Um, yeah, maybe we board. can get to visit Relay. We'll find out. You know, There's that's guys where the, coming to unload. Where Cthulhu sleeps, slumbers. So, let's find out. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Ah, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painful. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks.
Hey, Sullivan. Can't you go any faster? You see how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. You can't do that. But it's only a fish. A fish? You've got no idea. Don't badmouth what you don't know. Or you'll pay for it for sure. Okay, that's enough. Step back and let us do our job. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Don't treat me like another one of these locals. You're completely overwhelmed, and you could do with reinforcements. What are you thinking? That you can call the National Guard to an island like Darkwater? For a stranded fish? Gosh darn, Mr. Not like another one of these locals. Go give your valuable advice somewhere else, huh? Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't understand. Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody listens to us anyway. That's no way to treat an omen. Oh, yeah. You can see that I'm busy, can't you? You can't. Un Don't put that beast back in the water, you sh- The blood is just beginning to coagulate. It died a short time ago. Only a specialist would know what killed it. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. I brought out the Charles Hawkins cargo manifests. They're on the table next to you. But in truth, you're likely to be disappointed. When you're done, come join me on the deck. These manifests are signed by Charles Hawkins. But that's all I'll get from them. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. What a macabre souvenir. What a macabre souvenir. broken. This place seems half abandoned. I wonder what Captain Fitzroy has got to say about this woman cat.
Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Yet you served this man, when you can't say he's been on his best behavior. He's a regular. It was you who provoked him by turning up with your mainland manner. You mistake my manner. I ask nothing more than to become a regular as well. Which will be difficult, if you refuse to serve me. <laughs> I hope you're less talkative when you're drunk. Try me. <laughs> we'll see. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. Her style made her famous. How would you describe it? tortured yeah well it wasn't normal I mean for a young woman with a child and all that we saw them in the papers and we said to ourselves who can paint such things is that how she sees the world so they made you feel uncomfortable you need to see them for yourself make up your own mind her vision was it so terrible the way I see it, the truth is really a question of point of view. What do you mean by that? Do you still trust the truth after a bottle of whiskey? I've got what I need. Anything else? The Stranded Whale. I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous and... I've got what I need. Anything else? Do you know where this place is? Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Captain Fitzroy told me about a little pick-me-up. You want a drink? I wouldn't say no to a glass. Try this. I think we'll get along well. <laughs> That'll be all for now. What you looking at, stranger? 
I've rarely seen a woman who can hold her liquor so confidently. What gives you the right to judge me? Ah, it was a compliment. So what? Let me drink, stranger. I told you to beat it. Do you like our song? <laughs> We're true sirens. We may not be pros, but we give it all we've got. That's true. It's a reminder of the time when we were still fishing for whales off Darkwater Island. I've never heard this song before. Only people from here know it. It tells the story of the miraculous catch. It's a local legend? Watch what you say, young man. That catch saved our island. Ah. Where's the proof? We're the proof! Without it, the whole of Darkwater would have died of hunger in 1847. It's true. Everything happened, just as it says in the newspaper report. What report? The one that's framed right behind you. Our grandparents tasted its flesh. And it was delicious. What brought whaling to an end? The whales, of course. They all disappeared. You exhausted the stocks. You could say that, yes. There were fewer and fewer of them. Until the last, the biggest. The one of the miraculous catch. Exactly. I bid you farewell, gentlemen. Good night, stranger. So long. Hmm. Nightmares. Can hear things and voices whispering. Will follow its reader and appear at various locations, gifted with its own consciousness, until it finds a new reader. Ah. That's it. Maybe we should let him take it. No. No, the risks are too high. It's a book, after all. Pure knowledge. And then he said, You have no right to treat us like this. And the doctor? What did he say? He laughed. My God. The miraculous catch. Apparently... The most significant event of the last 80 years. Charles Hawkins was a heavy drinker, and a debtor. Interesting. Prohibition is just a joke around here. That suits me fine.
From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale. Even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on dark water. Tell me what I can do to help you. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? You tell me. I thought you would have worked it out. It belonged to Charles Hawkins. Ship owners from father to son. I see. That explains those loading manifests. Too bad I can't get much out of them. I think that somebody here wanted me to search this warehouse. I was looking at your photograph. One of the men in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. I'm just back from the wharves. The dead killer whale is unsettling the sailors. Ah, yes. Us men of the sea are superstitious folk. Killer whales don't have many known predators. That's true. And normally, they're not found around here. But, um, <laughs> you're gonna take me for a fool. Give it a try. Have you heard about the depths? Trenches that plunge into the earth and that shelter creatures unlike any other. You're talking about mythology. <laughs> Indeed, you're right. The police took the decision to put the killer whale back into the sea. You've got to understand them. They didn't know what to do with it. I think that was a mistake. Who says that whatever caused those wounds is no longer in these waters? <laughs> you think we should have kept it? To look into the real cause of its death, at least. The miraculous catch. Is it a local legend? Not at all. It's an episode from our glorious past. Go read the story of the sailors' return to Darkwater Harbor. It's displayed on a wall of the stranded whale. I found a threatening letter, signed by a certain cat. What? I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office. But I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that. But she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it, or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? I'm surprised Charles Hawkins had goods to store, knowing that whaling stopped in 1847. I see that you're interested in the history of our island. Indeed, maritime activities ceased altogether at the end of the last century. I imagine that the Hawkins family had other types of contracts. But you don't know with whom? No. It was none of my business.
I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid. What could have done so much damage? Don't put that beast back in the water, you shysters. You're crazy. They're cops. They can't understand. Damn stupid idiots. Forget it. Nobody... You can see that I'm busy, can't you? That's you can't no understand. Way to treat You're not an sailors. Man. Oh, yeah. It's a sign. He's gonna There's get something us in trouble. trouble. Something real. Where do you think you're going? I thought that the Hawkins case had been closed. That's true. So what are you doing on guard duty in front of this warehouse? <laughs> Who's asking the questions here, the cop or the tourist? Who are these others so interested in the warehouse? And why would I tell you? You and I are on the same side of the law. Oh, yeah? You don't want to know the truth behind this case. Are you saying our work was not up to snuff? Forget it. What more can you say about the death of the Hawkins family? Not much more than what everyone knows. I wasn't on the case. They were all burnt to death, right? Up at their place. The whole mansion went up in flames. Don't get it into your head to go wandering around up there. It's... dangerous. What do you mean by that? The only one left there is old Silas. And the accident has... affected him badly. He can be unpredictable. Especially if a stranger starts poking around the property. Is he a danger to the public? No. He's in his own home. Do yourself a favor. Leave him well alone. You live here? Why did you do that, huh? We saw what you did to St. Brendan. Yeah, we'll teach you to come onto our island and ridicule our protectors. I've never heard of this saint. Is it a local belief? But everyone knows St. Brendan, the navigator. He's the patron saint of whales and whalers. What happened to the statue? Go see for yourself. He's at the end of the jetty. There's you, our beloved statue, and then those two bozos behind us. Wait, now that I think about it, it's got to be them. There's one of them who's always going back and forth to the statue. Quieter. That's all we need for them to hear us. What brings you to dark water? Peculiar house. Yeah, that's where we live. Our boat. It's not because it doesn't float anymore that we're going to abandon it. That statue represents your local saint. What do you mean by local, exactly? You wouldn't be looking down at us, like all towns... St. Brent, until those... Isn't it a bit early for alcohol? We got nothing better to do any Fitzroy get so The two guys behind you. What are they guarding? The bootleggers. Scum. They're protecting their territory. From they really don't have it. They're more scared of cat than an attack by drunken s if only they would kill each other. Is it cat who's shaking down Captain Fitzroy? Oh, hold on, hold on just a minute. We did nothing at... I've taken enough. We'll see you. Come on, you could tell me. No, if it 
gets out, I'll have serious problems with you. How could you be dumb enough to leave the entrance to the warehouses unguarded? Keep your voice down. Why not go and shout at the cat while you're at it? I don't want to end up with her little knife under my throat. It's a stiletto, you idiot. And with that smell on your breath, I don't give you much chance anyway. Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaks. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's gonna be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get in- And we don't give a damn about you! What happened to the statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced- What do I know? They- The sailors. Who else in- Cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two... <laughs> she redid the smile at the last one who wanted to get in. I hope you had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. <laughs> So, who are you? Are you stupid or are you- Everybody- I've just arrived. Let's just say we- And we let- n I've got to get inside. It's your boss who sent me. Oh yeah? And why didn't she say anything to us? She sent me to see who's filching her stock. I... don't know what you're talking about. You got no proof to back up your claims, and I'd advise you against snitching. What's with you wandering around? We saw you- Go die- I bid you gentlemen farewell. If I can't get rid of those two, I'll have to look for another way. Hmm. Damnation, I broke it. St. Brendan, patron saint of sailors and travelers. Desecrated. I can't even say which language it's written in.
can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. If she's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, knows around. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of terror. You want to know more? Good. I shall take my leave. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. I could use this old... Alright guys, uh, looks like this is where we're going to end part 2 today, part 1 today, and we'll start part 2 tomorrow, see what we can do about getting into the warehouse, alright, talk to you later, ciao.